guess what we're gonna do today? Clean with me video. Clean with me video, and it's not just a clean with me video because I'm gonna share with you how mommy, I am getting mommy. Naomi to learn to do chores. So I have a little tip. It's not a tip. It's a secret. Hi. My mother-in-law cleans houses. Mommy. For a living. So one of the things mommy. that these two girls do is learn how to clean, and then when me. I come home, she me. shows me what she does with me. Naomi. Me. And we're gonna do that for you today. So, throw us on your big screen TV, blast up the music, I guess that's what people do, and clean with us. I've been known to do that. Right? Yes. So we're gonna start with the kitchen behind us. While I show you my quote unquote before we clean, I wanna first share with you four quick tips. Number one, do not expect them to do it perfectly, to clean perfectly. You probably are gonna have to go back over everything, and if you don't have to go back over everything, then good job, mama. Good job. Number two, have patience. They will eventually get it. They will, they will get it. Number three, make it fun. Make it a game, make it bonding time. Whatever it is, you wanna have smiles and laughter, and then they'll be motivated to do it again, which you will want them to do. Number four, seriously, you wanna protect them from danger. We know those things, the glass, the sharp objects, the climbing up in high places, you know, you get it, right? All us moms have our little, like, you know, red flags in the kitchen. Like, we walk in a kitchen and we see red flags everywhere. It's like this, like, superpower that we get as a mom. So unfortunately, the dishes are dirty, not clean yet, but she does help put away the clean dishes. What I'll do is I will put out the ones that are plastic on the counter and she'll stick them in the drawer where she can reach because those are her plastic utensils, so to speak. So that's her drawer with her cups and utensils. And, but we do have these dishes. Naomi loves doing the dishes. She's even learned from my mother-in-law that she can go get her step stool if she wants to be able to reach the sink and it's, it's turned into routine. Now doing dishes with her is a matter of playing it by ear. If she wants to hand something to me, great. If she wants to wipe something down or just even play in the soap and pretend like she's washing the dish, I let her do it, of course, if it's breakable. I try not to let her do that. I've broken a few dishes. But we also do a lot of hand over hand, as always. I've also learned to put a towel down between her and the sink it doesn't really solve the problem of getting her clothes wet. She usually always gets her clothes wet, but it does It does help. It does lessen it. Okay. It's also super important to be teaching those vocabulary words to her, such as clean and dirty and where these things are located. You know, like the dishwasher is clean right now. Now it's dirty. Maybe you could even put one of those magnetic signs on your dishwasher to help out. I also let her put away the non-breakable dishes, which I have strategically planned to be on the bo bottom row the bottom shelves, the bottom cabinets. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard. I also yeah, work with her on organizing. Just like when we put her toys and activities back, there's always a place for everything. And as with everything, there are teachable moments, and when those teachable moments come, don't just shove them aside or say, you know, I'll just do it this one time. Take advantage of those teachable moments. They're gonna pay off in the end. Fight, cause we 
Only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's too near me, push. Right here. Okay. Over here and hit that button. Okay, now close. All done. Good job. High five. Good. Do circles. You want to do here? Oh, you wanna get the chair? Do circles. And it's Let your problems go Look, it's really more about doing it together and not just doing it. You know, us moms get bogged down and just doing it. And if we view chores as something that we're just doing every single day, life is gonna be super duper boring. Why not have an activity that you do with your child as a way to bond? That's one thing that my mother-in-law does. She's like really serious about cleaning. And if she can teach her grandkids how to clean properly and make things look nice, then you know what, she's in heaven. But I've learned this from her. Now this, all this said does apply to all of my kids as they're growing up and even Hannah. Hannah, my daughter, the one that's older, super into cleaning and organizing. I don't have much footage of her actually cleaning, but she is definitely, definitely involved. And in no time it's clean. Yeah, I'm in the garage um, because we are now outside. Naomi was helping Hannah weed, me weed, and sweep and stuff because they're mowing the lawn. You know, it's that kind of day. But it's really funny because today's the day the boys are learning how to uh, lawn mow, and they're enthralled, enthralled by the edger. What are we doing? No. Are we having a laundry folding party? Hi. Hi. All right, I'm coming. So a laundry folding party is something that we, that she loves. This is something that her and Wella do, right? So she gets her little step stool out. What do you do with your step stool? Yeah. Look. Look. That's a swim swim shirt. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's fold. Tonight we are running on the right track. things here. Yes, I do most of the work that's pretty obvious by watching, but she is actually watching and calling out whose clothes are whose. Sometimes she'll fold, but it's never perfectly, which is totally okay. Totally okay. Sometimes she'll put clothes away and most of the time, I will be absolutely honest, she just throws it in the drawer. And yes, we do fix the drawers later on, but once again, it's about doing it together and a lot of modeling, and when she lets me, we do hand over hand. But it's about doing it together.
Say we're done, Yay! Naomi. Yay! <laughs> and it's getting ready for nighttime, so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, like seriously, totally different, not normally what I do. We are a family of four, we homeschool, and this yeah. is our journey as a family raising a child yeah. with Down syndrome. And uh, you're learning with us, we're learning with you. And <laughs> Naomi's a crazy. No, I'm gonna stick some videos around my face that you might enjoy. Check them out, let me know, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff just to kind of let me know. I'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs> Jump on bye bye. Saving yourself? Yeah. I no.